Right. So um, we wanted to start off with a, uh, a little bit of an introduction around ClickShare. Um, so I think everybody on this call will have either had some experience of ClickShare previously, whether that be the old CSE devices, the old CS devices, um, and then maybe them now moving to what is ClickShare conference and certainly some of the challenges we, we, we see coming up in the, the environment that we have already. Um, so a little bit of an introduction to myself, a little bit of introduction to some of the other people on this on this call, and then and then we'll get started through. So my name is Jordan Dean. I work for Barco. I've been working for Barco for around three years, specialising in the end user side. So in, in customers, how they use our products, how they use ClickShare in the various other workplace devices and a lot around the user experience. So what happens when a user walks into a room and how quickly they get set up? Wazim, is who, who's also on the, on the call, manages Reflex, your partner, um, manages all the training and upkeep of that side and, and managing that side. And, and Yaslin, who's also on our call, manages all of our events and our webinars. So to get us started and to kick off, we're going to talk about ClickShare, ClickShare conference and, and what that means in our in our new product. So I think everybody that you speak to at the moment, whether it be partners, whether it be vendors, whether it be um, consultants will say that the workplace is changing. Uh, a big thing that we're seeing at the moment is Gartner is saying that the greatest source of advantage is going to be how organisations work together. And I think the situation we're in right now is a prime example of that, of how a very challenging situation can come up where you need businesses, you need companies to be able to jump straight onto Zoom, jump straight up onto Teams, be able to connect together, work together in the environment that we've now been, let's say, pushed into. Uh, we're seeing a lot more people moving remotely. So a lot more people are moving towards either working at home from one day a week or moving to a lot more cloud based scenario where uh, cloud certainly comes first, um, which is which is bringing in a whole new set of tools into the workplace as well. We see different types of adoption to video, depending on who is where. I think the the highest that we see really is around India and China, where there's a very high adoption already. Um, Europe's actually one of the one of the lower ones, I would say, but it's certainly something that we've seen a big kick in over the last month um, due to the circumstances that we found ourselves in. So who is it that's kind of, let's say, driving this change? Well, uh, we're on Teams right now, which was previously Skype. Um, this then uh, is a, is, a, is a real driver in how people are working, is really encouraging people to jump on video to talk to each other. Um, Cisco, the same and, and has been doing that for a very long time. And, and I think Zoom is the biggest spike we've seen recently um, with, a, with a huge adoption amount of figures. So we have all of these different people wanting to connect via video, wanting to work in different ways. Now, it brings new challenges to, to your workplace and how you work as businesses. So I think, as always, IT wants to standardise. Um, they want to reduce support issues and, and costs, and they do that by having a very standard way of, of, of um, assessing those meeting rooms. They would like everyone to use a single conferencing solution, whether that be just Teams, just Cisco, whatever that might be, and prefer a room centric video um, experience. Now, typically what we also see is users want to just use their preferred technology, which can change from individual to individual. So that can be, you know, I prefer Zoom, uh, Waz can prefer Teams, Gasoline wants to use WebEx and, and whatever that scenario might be. And we, we, we see they also like to use as users their own devices. So for instance, they want to be able to connect their phone up to share some content. They want to be able to connect to a certain tablet, um, which which provides a lot more questions and a lot more challenges to that IT department, which then says, actually, what is in terms of the way of working? Well, well, how can you manage all of these devices? How can you manage all of these user experiences? What are the complexities that they don't know about? Um, and especially when it comes to standardization, well, how do you how do you manage BYOD on your networks on your on your meeting rooms uh, and then also how do you train everybody in order to be able to use this so adoption is very important when it comes to this scenario so 
we did some research ourselves as, as Barco, and we, we saw a real mix of different platforms being used. The primary for us has always been Teams and WebEx, um, but we can see a whole host of different um, different platforms. And I, I imagine you'll see this in your own diaries even this week. You know, it won't be that all of your all of your meetings sit on one platform. They sit across a variety of platforms. So you need the ability to be able to jump on um, when in the, when in these rooms, when in these different spaces, jump onto a call and then actually have the ability to jump onto a different type of platform quite quickly as well. So Barco previously specialised in what we would call BYOD, bring your own device, um, but a new category in which we have now trying to form and, and create and, and what we really see is, is a focus for us moving forward is bring your own meeting. So what does this mean for us? What does this mean for you and your, your users and your work um, and the, those kind of involved in that in that meeting space and in that VC space? Well, firstly, the tools that you have on your laptop um, are trusted both by users and your organization. So you have BitLocker, you have security, you have your McAfee, whatever that might be, it's there. The data is securely stored on your laptop or your network, meaning there's no change to how you would actually transmit or accept any data. Uh, the logins and security for your laptop are, are much more secure than than um, anything you would have as a third party peripheral device and the user experience is what the users are very much used to. A prime example of this, I think, is if you were to ask somebody to join a Teams call on their laptop, they'd be more than capable of doing that. If you took that same person and then put them into a Teams room, I think they would be able to join it as well. But there's a difference in how they would be able to how quickly and how uh, used to it they would be because it's the devices they're using every day. And then if we took that same example and then said, right, now in that same room, join a Zoom room, it then adds another level of complication, which I think we can see um, from the users and how they use their own laptop, the ease of that. So what does this mean then? What, what is Bring Your Own Meeting and how does it work in, in the reality of, of that meeting room space, of that space where somebody wants to come in? So similar to ClickShare before, you walk into the meeting room, you plug in your new ClickShare button, and then actually you join the call from the laptop itself. A short example of, of what this could look like and, and how this actually works in a in a way of um, an actual meeting room. So with with ClickShare coming in, you're gonna you're gonna walk into your room and you're gonna connect your button. Now whether you want to join a Zoom call, a Teams call, it, it doesn't matter. But simply, you have your same standard experience as you as you have with a laptop. Now, what's happened here is they've been joined by other people in the meeting room, which I think is a scenario that everybody's quite used to. And what we need is a way for actually everybody to be involved in the call. So what you can see within the peripherals of this room is that there's a there's a USB camera. Uh, in this case, it's a Logitech Meetup, who's one of our alliance partners. And within this Logitech Meetup, this is actually connected directly into the ClickShare. So what this now means is that as opposed to everybody trying to crowd around that one laptop, um, what we're able to actually do is plug in the ClickShare button, uh, good timing from Dries, um, which then ultimately connects your laptop to the USB peripheral devices in the room. Um, and what that then allows to do is, opposed to you seeing me through my camera here, you see me from the camera and from the microphone in the room. You still have the ability to have more than one person sharing on the call. So the same as what ClickShare does now, you can have both Dries and Inika sharing onto the screen and then sharing that third party across the call. But what this also means is you're no longer maybe restricted to one platform in that room. So such things as a Teams room or a Zoom room or a WebEx room, actually what they can now become is a USB room. Um, let me just click across here. So this is introducing ClickShare Conference. So the idea is that you bring your own meeting to the room, you collaborate with others, and you can click with both the people in the room and third party. Now, 
from a conferencing point of view, it takes less than seven seconds to push, um, have the button pushed in and connected and be on screen, especially with platforms like Teams, where they take quite the priority in, in your settings and your peripherals. What this means is that as soon as you plug that button in, your Teams platform knows that it's the preferred route to take the, the better audio, the better camera. So it will automatically push you into your to your settings there. So in order for me to join, for instance, this call today, all I need to do is plug in the button and press join call and automatically I'd appear on screen using those peripherals in the room. Now, the button that we have has changed. It is a new hardware, it is new technology. Um, it also looks a little bit different. So there's a few more buttons. So we have an LED ring now, which allows a kind of a quite a clear visual representation of how uh, how long it takes to join the uh, to join the session. Um, of course, press the button in the middle and you'll be able to share your device. Uh, we have a, a, a collaboration menu now, which is kind of like a, a burger button you can see on the on the bottom right there. Uh, this allows you to take snapshots, uh, to pause windows, to do lots of little collaborative bits that you wouldn't do as well. And then finally, the USB itself allows you to receive, receive the camera stream. So the phrase we're now going for, um, our route to market, our preferred way is called triple agnostic. What this means is any laptop on any conferencing platform and any peripheral. Now, just to look at this in a little bit more detail. When we say triple agnostic, we're really meaning any of those platforms that you want to be using, uh, whether that be Teams, whether that be Zoom, whether that be Cibet, ooh, Cisco WebEx, excuse me, um, or, or any, any of the other current setups you might have working on any of those devices. So whether it be an audio device, whether it be a video device or whether it be an all in one device. Uh, and often a question that comes up is maybe if you haven't got USB, is there a way that you can connect those um, devices into this? Well, using a small DSP, which is a, essentially like a USB hub for, for these sorts of devices and audio, um, you're able to plug a DSP straight into a click share and then have this round um, and able to really quickly collaborate together. The real differentiator um, of something like ClickShare Conference is the user experience, is really the ease of people trusting how to use their own laptop and plugging that button in and seeing that experience in the room. Uh, I think given where we are now, the environment we're in, we're actually, we're locked down, we're working from home, we've, we've changed our way of working, video adoption has seen a massive increase really quickly. And what you're gonna see from your employees, from your staff, from your colleagues, is actually a very high understanding of how to VC. So how to use Zoom, how to use WebEx, how to use Teams on their device. Now, if we think about then transitioning that into the workplace and, and as we move out of lockdown and back into the meeting rooms and the way of working, well, that experience for those users that are gonna be involved, is gonna transition from being very much laptop based, very much laptop focused, to just plugging that button in and seeing that experience straight onto the room. So this is something to be really excited about. There is, a, alongside the button, there is also the ClickShare app, and we really see the app and the button working very closely with one another. Now, a lot of people maybe don't know enough about the ClickShare app, so just to give a kind of a brief overview, the ClickShare app is a small piece of software that runs on your laptop. What it allows you to do is to connect to any of the screens that you want to um, that have click share just by using the app. And there's a little virtual button that looks a little bit like what you can see in the bottom right here, where you can pause, you can, you can share certain windows, you can change the way in which you moderate your content up onto the screen. Um, with the button, it's one click and you share your whole screen. With the app, you have a little bit more flexibility in terms of what you want to do, whether it be uh, sharing just one window, uh, where it would be pausing from different areas, whether it be being interactive with, with different annotations, whatever that might be. What ultimately we're trying to do is improve that engagement. So changing what could be this image here of you with just one person to using that full room in that full space, really just by pushing in that one USB very simply. So how does this fit into your workplace? How does this fit into that environment that we go back into? 
Um, and just so you're aware, I'll, I'll wrap up in the next few moments and, th and then we'll be able to have any questions that might be coming through. Um, and I will check the chat just very briefly, but I couldn't see anything coming through here. So um, huddle spaces, small meeting rooms, larger rooms, boardrooms, th there's a really a fit for all. We, whether it comes from having, we have three kind of products in our range and depending on the peripherals that you add them with, whether it be just a smaller camera or device or maybe an all-in-one device or even up to a DSP when using those boardroom spaces. Security is very important. So um, Barco is a, an ISO 27001 certified product. Um, for those of you that know the certification, it, it's, it doesn't certify the product itself. It certifies the entire process around the security. No one product can be cyber secure, but it's the, it's the process and how you manage that. And for that, we are unique in the market. We are the only people with that. Uh, secure by design, um, which means all of our all of our uh, content is encrypted. Um, designed for your network. So actually, whether you want to have it off network, whether you want to have it in one um, network, in one LAN or in, in multiple VLANs, that's, that's not an option. Um, there's a management dashboard called XMS, which allows you to centrally manage all of your devices. And that XMS dashboard goes for both your CX, which is ClickShare Conference, also any existing ClickShare as well. Insights are created, so I don't know if you know Microsoft's Power BI, but that comes as part of our XMS classic package for free, uh, meaning that you can have full insights on all of your rooms and, and what that means for you. And finally, just by registering your ClickShare conference unit, you get five year smart care coverage, which is a bump on the current warranty that we give, um, as well as those full analytics in the cloud. It's always up to date, so meaning that by setting it up online and setting it up on your network, you can have it to um, automatically be on the latest firmware. When I say automatically, this doesn't mean it pushes it directly every time as soon as one comes out. Actually, what it chooses to do is whether you schedule it for Sunday at 7 a.m. or whether you just want it to push to you and then you decide when it updates or whether you want to hold off and, and have it update on a certain schedule. That's not a problem. We just definitely don't want it to interfere with your with your work day. Um, and finally, the smart care gives you that five year courage. So that's included for analytics, included for the cloud, but actually included any hardware challenges you might come up against, which actually we see very minimal of with, with ClickShare. The XMS platform itself is where you find all of your Power BI or your analytics and where you track your ROI. Um, it's quite an interesting body of information Often the question comes up is, oh, you've spent a lot of money, a lot of investment on your meeting rooms. How do you manage your ROI? How do you know that they're being adopted? How do you know that they're being used? Um, and this is a very clear metric in order to be able to use that. So quick overview of the portfolio itself now. The 20, the 30, the 50, um, which gives you the, a different setups for both the huddle rooms and meeting rooms and the, and the board rooms. Um, main differences around touch. Um, so where has touch and, and where and where has um, uh, hasn't got touch, but but also on the HDMI in as well. So as you go up to the CX50, which represents similar to what the CSE 200 plus is, uh, you will see a HDMI in to that unit as well as out, allowing for some matrix and switching. Um, the ClickShare button manager is a tool in which once on your network, you can assign buttons to different rooms from a central point, so from a reception point or from a facilities point of view. Uh, the ClickShare button pack is our is our new tray in which can, can quite happily sit on the units as well. And finally, just a complete technical overview, which we'll be sharing with you via video on the, on the webinar after this, and we can, we can get some more details out to you. This is a nice passage that, uh, that we've kind of built around the ClickShare piece, which I'll read to you very briefly, and then you'll be happy to know that that's all from me and we can move to questions. But throughout history, people have worked together. Almost everything worthwhile began with someone sharing something, others listening, and then everyone building on it together. Yet the reason working together is the same reason it is sometimes, uh, is the same reason it sometimes doesn't, our differences. That's why I developed the new ClickShare wireless conferencing technology that creates understanding between people by freeing them to interact easily and naturally. We believe that when this happens, meetings are transformed, energy is born, 
people get engaged, pulled in, flow builds, and companies become communities bursting with ideas and innovation. It's simple, great things happen when people click. Okay, that was a lot of information from me, 25 minutes, so I hope uh, it wasn't too tricky to track and there wasn't too much information flowing around. As we say, we have recorded this session, so we will be able to uh, share this with you, but any questions coming through? A any questions around maybe the technical side of how it works or the user flow or maybe some of the challenges we would expect to see? Happy to take questions by coming off of mute or if you want to go via the chat, if you would prefer, um, ha happy to happy to take either role. Jordan, hi, it's Wasim here from Barco. Barco, maybe. So Jordan, wants to put yourself on mute. Yeah, just to kind of add something from here from my side as well. Um, you know, That's better. Thank you, Jordan. Thanks. So just to add something from my side here. So uh, Reflex are, uh, are a Barco Gold partner. So again, um, you know, there is a lot of value that they can add into this. So again, if there is if there are if there is any of yourselves out there who do have any of the current click share range, uh, what, what we call the click share presentation range, and looking for an upgrade path to the CX, then again, that is something that a Reflex team can support you with. And also, as appreciate, you haven't seen this product, you may not get to see this for some time. So if you felt that when you're back into the office that you wanted to to embark on taking a, a demo unit, taking it into the meeting room. Uh, putting it through its test and, and, and keeping it there for, for like, you know, four weeks at a time, that is something, again, that the Reflex team can support you with. So they can allow you to try it. And then again, they can also support you with the trade in um, an upgrade path from the existing click share as well. Okay, I've seen a little note coming through. So are the dongles specific to each unit? So um, great question, Anton. So how the dongles work themselves is you have a USB-C dongle, which can be uh, which can be adapted to USB-A just through a, a small clip. They pair to the individual units themselves. So if we put up a scenario of meeting one, meeting two and meeting three, the dongles for meeting one used for meeting one, the dongles for two are for two and three for three. If you um, if you want to move them between rooms, you can, but you need to repair them in that new room. Um, but the reason why it's so important that they are able to just be strictly paired to that one room is for user experience. So a lot of what I do specializes around getting the best user experience through for companies, um, working with how they how their users can quickly be sharing as fast as possible. So the key to that is you have your dongle in the room. You simply walk in and you push it into your laptop. And actually, before you even need to start doing, start using any software, start clicking anything, within seven seconds, they are connected to the screen. They don't have to be sharing, but they they have established that connection, which means then as soon as you click the button, you can share over. Something that we mentioned towards the end of the presentation is the button manager. So from a facilities point of view, through the button manager, you can assign uh, dongles to different rooms. So if you want to keep more centrally and, and add more dongles to different rooms, you definitely can. Um, but to answer your question, it is specific to each unit. And if I can, Joel, if I can add to that as well, please. So again, um, if you are existing ClickShare presentation users, um, the ClickShare conference buttons won't work with the ClickShare presentation. OK, so ClickShare presentation are generation three buttons. ClickShare conference are generation four buttons. Just make it clear it's not a mixed environment. It doesn't work with one another. Thank you. <clears throat> no worries, Anton. Yeah, no problem at all. Any, any other questions from any of the participants or, or general feedback? What's your thoughts? Do you, do you think this solves an issue that you see from your users? Do you think actually you're, you've got an environment where you're very strict to one VC platform and you, and you don't see the transition between the two? Do you think that maybe your current BYD environment, your devices might cause some challenges? What's, what's your thoughts? What's your feedback? Or 
you can simply say that maybe I spoke a little bit too long and I, I won't take any offence either. You, any feedback is welcome. I'll just allow a little moment for any more typing and then if not, we will uh, pass back over for a quick wrap up from the Reflex team. I think it's pretty clear we need to understand cost of licenses. Yeah. So uh, just to be clear, um, via Reflex, we can share all the costs with you. That's not a problem at all. Um, there are no license costs. So the idea is that actually when buying the unit itself, uh, that is your that covers you for both your unit, all of your upgrade paths, all, all of your firmwares, which are continually we're improving the product uh, constantly. That covers your five year warranty. And that also covers all of your insights and licenses for your XMS platform. If you, um, the XMS platform itself is also free of charge for you to, for you to have. Um, there are certain uh, options in terms of if you want hardware servers for your XMS, then there is some cost to that. But actually from a software point of view, so from a cloud licensing, no cost there either. Um, so we're, we're able to share all of those with you also. And I've just seen obviously a question from YAG around the trading offer. Maybe I'll just elaborate on that slightly. Um, so again, if you have existing click share models in your estate, so again, going back to the very, very historic uh, uh, click share device, the CSM1 or CSC1, or if you have the CSE200, CSE200 Plus, or the 800, we can actually look at an upgrade path taking you over to CX. And we've actually now included um, competitive products in that as well. So again, if there's competitive products in your in your environment where you're looking to upgrade those to CX, again, that's an option for you. And how the process works around that is, is relatively simple. You just need to let the Reflex team know that you have these number of uh, 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 devices you wish to trade in and let them know what you want to trade it in for. And what we will need is the uh, serial number of the device, okay? And we will need the base unit, the buttons, and the power supply, okay? So what we actually do is we actually arrange to collect those from you, and we actually dispose of these under the Wii regulation. So again, we're not expecting you to ship them back to us, we actually work with Reflex uh, and, and get those back in and dispose those to make sure they're out of circulation. And there's many, many reasons why we can upgrade. Again, obviously one from the security perspective is enhanced security features on the new models, as well as uh, a lot of the benefits that, that Jordan's mentioned here today. And again, if that is something that you wish to do, again, that is something the Reflex team can support you with. It's quite a simple process uh, and easy to follow. OK, well, look, on that note, I'm going to pass back over to Maria um, and we'll, we'll, we'll wrap up here just about on time. A few minutes over, so apologies. Um, but thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. And any other questions from a Barco point of view, don't be afraid to reach out. Brilliant. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Asim. That was a really great presentation. Uh, I really hope that you all uh, on the call found it interesting too. No doubt, as soon as we hang up from this call, you'll all have questions. So please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions, if you'd like more information, uh, or if you would like to know more about the trade-in offer that was mentioned. So uh, yeah, I think that's it from all of us here. Uh, please don't hesitate to contact us. and. Uh, yeah, we look forward to speaking to you soon. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, everyone.